Today, we're going to be going over each and every charm stone that exists in Pet Simulator 99 right now, and we're going to go over which ones that you guys should be applying to your huges and which ones you should just not. For this video, I've done a variety of tests on each of these charms and have used each of the charms for at least a week now, so I do feel qualified to give advice on these specific charms. Because you cannot take charm stones off your huges once you apply them, it is really important that you apply the right ones and you don't waste a slot because that could bring down the value of your huge by a lot. In the future, if you want to sell your huges, nobody is going to buy them if you've been applying some crappy charms. So for this reason, it is really important apply charms to your huges with caution and make sure that you are applying charms for the reason that your specific team needs. And you're going to want to keep watching because in this video, I'm going to go over those specific needs for each and every team and what specific circumstances you're going to want each of these charm stones at. Remember to comment your Roblox username down in the description. We will be giving away three free exclusives on this video. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment your Roblox username down below. So once you've done that, now we're going to get into the video and go over which of these charm stones you should be applying. All right, so we got all of our charms here. I'm going to start in order. We're going to go with the bonus charm first. This is honestly a big one to start off with because there are so many misconceptions about this charm itself. So this charm says that pets are 35% more likely to get a bonus. The wording of that implies that there is already a chance to get a bonus for pets for just breaking any kind of breakable. And this charm makes it so they're 35% more likely. It's not a 35% chance to get a bonus on each breakable you hit. It's a 35% more likely chance. And that chance is actually a lot lower than you might think. I'm going to play some footage of the testing we did. We first tested a huge with one bonus charm. And then we did a test with two bonus charms. And the odds are just not that crazy. Another misconception is that a bonus will give you item drops from breakables. This is also not the case. The bonus that you get from breakables is either coins or diamonds, depending on what kind of breakable you are breaking, obviously. And yeah, as you can see from this first test, it took absolutely forever for me to get even one bonus with a single bonus charm on my huge. While this charm is super cheap, it is also just super trash. And I do not suggest anybody putting this on their huge pets at all. But luckily for the bonus charm, there are a lot of trash charms on this list. So I'm actually going to list it at C. That's only because there are worse charms on this list. Okay, so moving on. The next one is the agility charm. This is actually going to be a kind of controversial one. There are actually a lot of people in Pet Simulator 99 that love this charm for some reason. The agility charm allows your pets to move at 150% speed, which is actually pretty good. However, there are items in the game that we can use to uh, get this kind of result. The toy ball consumable actually allows your pets to move at 300% speed, and that includes all of your pets. So that just like overall makes this agility charm completely useless, unless I guess if you stacked it multiple times. But there are much better things you can do besides using this, um, but it is not completely useless. It also allows your pet to level up even faster because it is always going that much faster than your other pets your huge pet is going to be able to hit more breakables and therefore get more xp and level up i'd even say this is better at leveling up your pet than the xp charm is and for that reason i'm gonna say it is just behind the bonus charm it does have its uses but you could just purchase the toy ball and it would be obsolete basically for your whole setup. Plus there are other consumables as well that increase your pet speed. So it is just not necessary to waste one of your charm slots on something like the agility charm. Moving on, however, we are gonna go to the strength charm. Now, if you guys have been following me, you guys know I love the strength charm. Almost all of my huges have at least one strength charm on it because this charm is so good. This was the most worth it charm by far in value. 
And that's when this charm costs a whopping 300,000 diamonds. Nowadays, the strength charm actually costs 7,000 diamonds. So you guys already know I'm going to have to put this at S tier. This strength charm is so worth it. The strength charm gives you an overall 30% more damage for your huge pet, which is a lot. And you will notice the difference after applying this. And it is also just so cheap. The reason it is so cheap is not because it's a bad charm. It is just so cheap because you get it so often out of the charm stone. The drop rates for this charm have gone up tremendously. In my charm stone opening, I got over 33, I believe, of these strength charms. So they are just really common, but that does not mean they're bad. These charms are actually really good, and I would suggest this over 90% of the charms in this list. I have also personally tested this, and it does stack, so it could be worth it for you to put multiple of these on your huges. Overall the first S tier charm that we've gone over. Next on the list, we actually have the glittering charm. So this glittering charm was actually nerfed. Uh, I have done some testing. The glittering charm basically just has a random chance for your huge to drop diamonds. While this is good and it can collect a lot of diamonds, it seems to me like you only get about 100,000 every day if you're collecting almost all of the diamonds that it's dropping to you. And the current rep value of these glittering charms are about like 1.1, 1.2 million. So it would take about 11 or 12 days to get your investment back. But I don't think this is an overall good use of a charm stone slot because I feel like something like the strength charm just adds more value because doing that much more damage is going to be able to allow you to farm even faster and make more than that more than that overall also with the glittering charm your magnet doesn't actually pick up those diamonds so you actually have to run over those diamonds and pick them up manually so it's not very afk friendly it's only good for people who are actively playing and walking around all the time and are able to pick up those diamonds so for that reason i'm gonna say it's a tier honestly almost b tier but I'll, I'll keep it at a because i know there is some value in this especially if you get multiple as i'm pretty sure they do stack still so next we have the tnt charm which is probably actually one of my favorite of the new charms that we've gotten so far the tnt charm gives you a random chance to spawn tnt for your huge this charm also does stack and it is pretty good as you can see on the screen, I did some testing to see how often it spawns, and it seems like you get one every two minutes or so. When I was testing, I was getting one every minute or so, but then I went on a long streak of like seven or eight minutes without getting one, so I don't know what that was about. I don't know if my area was just glitched. There's so many... <laughs> There are so many bugs like that, so I don't know if that was because of the area or what. Uh, the rap value is currently about 50000 for one of these. I don't think it's bad, but I think you can also do better in terms of other charms. For that reason, I'm going to put it at the B tier. I think if you are not doing enough damage and there's still constantly breakables around you while you're grinding... This charm isn't that bad, but if you're doing a ton of damage already and breakables are getting broken too fast, then this charm is just not going to be useful for a lot of you guys. But it is decent, and honestly, it's kind of fun. It's like one of those fun charms. I think it's one of the best of the new charms that were added recently, so I'm going to say B tier. All right, so we have the critical charms. The critical charm says pets randomly inflict critical hits this is going to be the first of the d tier charms honestly i did testing of this and the odds to get a critical hit are just not that great and honestly to to give you guys a picture this charm only increases the odds of your one huge getting a single crit hit and the increased odds are just not that much I think for many of you guys, you're going to be using critical hit books anyways, so it's not you're not even going to notice a difference with this, and I just don't think it hits enough for it to be really useful. I was really disappointed when I was testing this because I thought this charm would actually be really good, and I thought people were sleeping on it, but no, it deserves to be at the price it is. It is just not good. I don't think anybody should be using this. The strength charm is just at the same price range and it is a hundred times better. Use this over the critical charms any day of the week. Also for my testing, I'm pretty sure the critical hits that do get inflicted do less damage than the ones 
uh, that the enchantment books give you. So just keep that in mind. I'm not 100% sure about that, but all right, next is the XP charm. Honestly, the XP charm is a really weird charm that they added. I was really surprised when I saw this. I'm going to put it at D. It's above the criticals because I mean, it can be useful. It gives you a 30% increased XP bonus uh, for your huges when grinding. If you didn't know, the max level for huges is currently 99. At huge level 99, your huges do 100% more damage. So it is very beneficial to get them at 100% XP. But eventually in the game, you're going to get there anyways. So I don't think there's any need to try to increase the speed at which you get there. Especially for something like this charm. I think you get more value out of adding something like the strength charm or even the TNT or the glittering charm because this just gives you continual value and it will never stop adding value once you reach that max level. So like once you reach max level or even the high levels of huges, it takes forever to level up. So getting something that increases your speed of leveling up by just 30% just isn't that useful. And like I said before, I would go with the agility charm over the XP charm because the increased speed will actually give you a lot of benefits to grind as well as being able to rank up even faster so I think this is a lot better of an option and it's cheaper over the XP charm so I just don't see any reason anybody in the game should be using this our second D tier all right so the diamond charm increases the diamonds you farm by 10% um this is another one where I'm kind of torn between its usefulness the problem with something like this charm is that it it only increases the diamonds gained for one pet. So keep in mind, if you have 87 pets and they're breaking a bunch of different breakables at once and your huge happens to break it, you'll get 10% more diamonds. And honestly, most of the time you're barely getting over 10 per breakable. So you're not even going to get at most by applying this charm. You're going to get like a few diamonds you're going to get a couple diamonds more, nothing too significant at all. And if you really wanted bonus diamonds, there are there is a better charm that you could go with on this list. Um, I, I, I Honestly, I don't even know if I could put it at B just because of that fact. It really, like, really doesn't do that much when you put it into perspective. So for that reason, I'm going to have to put that at upper C tier, maybe lower B. Because this is another one of those charms that there is a better alternative. And it costs about 50,000 rep at the moment. So it isn't one of the cheapest at all C tier. Alright, so <laughs> now we're moving on to the coins charm. I always see debates about this one. I don't know. It's not like, it's not completely useless. But it's not good at all, I'd say. Because once you're at the level where you are getting huge pets and you are grinding... You're going to be able to get the max amount of coins within an hour or maybe a couple hours at the most. So there's not going to be a reason like you're really going to want bonus coins. The other thing about the coins charm is it only gives you a 25% boost compared to something like the potions which give you over 100% boost. So you might as well just use one of those if you really need coins. Adding a 25% bonus to your coins, it just does nothing pretty much. It's, it's pretty useless. People that are opening the active eggs all day every day and just want to quickly get the max amount of coins constantly so they can keep opening eggs i can kind of see use but there are very few real world scenarios where you should be using the coins charm it just doesn't make sense to take up one of your slots again you could also use the argument that getting a 30 percent damage boost will allow you to get more than 20 percent more coins so wouldn't you rather just get use the strength charm that helps you all the time instead of just when you need coins but that's not the debate we're going for today i just thought i would include that but because it is the only charm that actually affects coin odds i'm gonna say it's better than these two but it's just not good you should not apply this to your huge at all all right so next we have the royalty charm the royalty charm is going to be an s tier charm so the royalty charm actually gives you a 40% damage buff as well as a 20% diamonds buff as well as a speed increase for your pets. There's not really a way to test how fast it actually makes your pets go, but I was I would assume it's at least 150% like the agility charm. 
but it's probably more like 200% because the royalty charm has increased percentages over the strength and the diamonds charm. So I would assume it's more like 200%, but yeah, so this charm does three things that other charms do, but it does them all better in one charm. That being said, the royalty charm is about 4 million rap right now, so it is very expensive, and I don't think it's really worth it for many people to be applying this to their huges unless you already have like a maxed out team obviously something like pet equip slots will give you a lot more of a damage buff to invest in over something like the royalty charm but if you are at that point the royalty charm is the best of the best and the one thing that you should most definitely be applying at that level obviously this gives you a 40 percent over the 30 percent strength boost that the strength charm gives you and then it gives you a 20% diamond boost, which is 10% more than the regular diamond charm. And then it gives you the speed boost as well, which will help your pet rank up faster as well as collect breakables even faster. Overall, the best charm on the list. You can't really deny it. The price does make it not worth it for many people, but it is just so good and undeniable. All right, so we're getting to the end of the list, but now we have the Overload Charm. The Overload Charm is one of the new ones as well. This adds an extra two charm slots to your huges. For example, if I used it on this huge right here, I would then have two Strength Charms and Overload Charm, then two extra empty slots on this huge. So it enables you to add another two slots, which is pretty big. There is actually no downfall to using this charm on your pet so it is probably actually one of the most friendly like you you might as well add it eventually once you have a maxed out team obviously the only pitfall with this charm stone is that it is 5 million wrap right now so it is quite expensive even more than the royalty charm but the overall additions that this gives you are invaluable this is the only way to artificially increase your charm slots so Overall, a very good charm. If you are lucky enough to get this from a charm stone, I would just sell it unless you have a maxed out team. 5 million wrap is just too good of a deal to pass up on. You you can increase the damage dealt or efficiency by your team by, by a lot more than adding just this to one of your huges. But to each their own, it is a good charm overall s tier all right so last on the list we actually have the lightning charm i have another test that i did you can see on the screen of me using it the lightning charm gives your huges a chance to shoot lightning at breakables from the testing i've done it did not activate very often but it does do a decent amount of damage it's definitely worse than the tnt charm for sure i'd honestly even say it's c just the way i have this tier list set up i'm just gonna put it right behind the tnt charm it's just not as good i would definitely use the tnt charm if you are looking for some aoe damage just overall not that good just use the tnt charm if you want something like this all right so to even out the tier list a little bit i moved things around i didn't move the order at all i just kind of moved which tier they were in i moved the diamond charm to bottom of b and then the coin charm to bottom of C and then moved the strength charm to the top of A. Honestly though, this strength charm is just so good. I will never stop vouching for the value that this adds for 7,000 rep. If you have empty slots, I would advise anyone to apply this over anything else. I hope I was able to give you some insight into what charms do and which ones you should be using for your specific setups. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to comment your Roblox username down below. I also read through all of my comments to see suggestions on other videos I should be making. So please comment down below if you think there's something I should cover. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.